Hey guys, welcome to Android News Hash 19, and yeah, I got some amazing news for you guys. So let's get into it. All right, first off, Motorola has released Android Oreo kernel sources for the 2016 Moto Z, and that's an amazing news for developers. I mean, the source code will definitely help those who want to develop custom ROMs for the Moto Z. Also, in case you don't know, Motorola has already updated the Moto Z 2016 to Oreo in China and Brazil and most likely by the end of March, other countries will also get Oreo on their Moto Z smartphones. So keep checking your update section. Yeah, moving on a major news, Google is now testing Android P for the Google Chromebook and that is quite surprising cause Google never updated the Chromebook to Android Oreo and they are now testing Android P. So most likely what I think is, it appears Google is skipping the Android Oreo and will jump directly to Android P for the Chromebook. So wait for Android P guys. Okay, so another major news, Moto G6 smartphones would feature Lenovo's cross-share application and basically cross-share connects your Lenovo laptop with your Motorola smartphone and you will be able to send multimedia and other stuffs from your Moto G6 easily. So that would be great feature for those who own a Lenovo laptop and are planning to buy the Moto G6 phones. By the way, your laptop must have Lenovo's Vantage application installed and that is available on the Windows Store. And maybe the cross-share application will be available for old Motorola smartphones. I don't know. And guys, right now, regarding the Moto G6 release date, all I can say is it is rapidly approaching. So just wait till mid-April. By the way guys, if you are enjoying this video, would really really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button because that is going to really help me a lot. Another major news, I just got pure stock Android AOSP custom firmware working on my Redmi Note 5 Pro and that's all because of Project Rebel. Again, I really appreciate Xiaomi for enabling the Project Rebel on the Redmi Note 5 Pro with Android 8.1 update. So yeah, most of the things are working fine. If you guys want a full review of this firmware, do let me know in the below comment section. I will make one for you guys. Another news, YouTube is now testing a new animation. From minimize to full screen, while watching a vertical video, you will see a new animation. So that is something interesting. Xiaomi Mi A1 users are now getting March security patch in the name of April 2018 update. You guys know April Fool is coming really soon. So yeah jokes aside, this update waits around 450 MB and disappointing news is it still runs on Android 8.0 Oreo. I think by now Google and Xiaomi should have updated the Mi A1 to Android 8.1. Yeah, anyways, moving on, a good news for Moto X4 users, Motorola has released Android 8.1 release notes for the Moto X4. And I think in a few weeks, you guys will see 8.1 on your smartphones. Another news for the Moto X4 users, March security patch is now available on Project Fi and Verizon and most likely other countries will get it soon. Last news for you guys, Lineage has finally started working on the official Lineage 15.1 for the OnePlus One and the OnePlus Two. And that's something really great because for OnePlus, the OnePlus One and OnePlus Two are dead. They won't update them. So there comes the Lineage community who is going to provide all the latest update and security patches and the latest features to your smartphones. So this is all guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If I missed anything or any news, do let me know in the below comment section. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and peace out.